In this video, we're going to be performing a deep dive on Hormel Foods' dividend safety. To begin, let's talk about Hormel Foods' business model. Hormel Foods operates in the food product industry. The company was founded in 1891 and sold fresh pork products to its customers. In 1926, the company introduced the world's first canned ham. The company's products include Skippy, Spam, Jenny O, Hormel, and more. Hormel Foods now trades with a market capitalization of more than $23 billion, with more than $10 billion in annual revenues. Hormel Foods is a well-known dividend stock because of its compelling track record of dividend growth with 53 years of consecutive dividend increases. Hormel Foods is a member of the Dividend Aristocrats Index, a group of elite dividend stocks with more than 25 years of consecutive dividend increases. In fact, Hormel Foods' dividend history satisfies the requirement to be a dividend aristocrat more than twice over. With more than five decades of consecutive dividend increases, Hormel is a member of the Dividend Kings, a group of even more exclusive stocks with 50-plus years of dividend increases. Looking ahead, investors interested in owning shares of Hormel Foods will likely want to know the safety of future dividend payments. For the remainder of this video, we will discuss the company's current dividend safety from our perspective. 1. Its dividend safety in the context of current earnings. 2. Its dividend safety in the context of its current free cash flow. Three its dividend safety in the context of its recession performance. Four, its dividend safety in the context of its current debt load. First, let's discuss Hormel Foods' dividend safety in the context of the company's current earnings. When Hormel Foods announced its fiscal year 2018 results on November 20th, the company reported that it generated earnings per share of $1.86 for the year. For context, Hormel Foods paid 75 cents of common share dividends during the same time period for a dividend payout ratio of 40%. Using earnings, Hormel Foods' dividend appears very safe with a foreseeable future. Many analysts believe that comparing a company's dividend payments to its free cash flow is a better method of assessing dividend safety. Accordingly, we will now compare Hormel Foods' current dividend payment to its free cash flow. In fiscal 2018, Hormel Foods generated $1.2 billion of cash from operating activities and spent $390 million on capital expenditures for free cash flow of $810 million. The company distributed $390 million of common share dividends during the same time period for a free cash flow dividend payout ratio of 48%. Using free cash flow, our conclusion is the same as when we used earnings to measure Hormel Foods' dividend safety. The company's dividend appears safe for the foreseeable future. Companies do not cut their dividends in the good times. Instead, dividends are reduced when companies experience financial difficulty. Accordingly, this section will analyze Hormel's current dividend safety in the context of the company's historical recession performance. We believe the best way to measure a company's recession resiliency is by measuring its earnings per share performance during the fiscal crisis that occurred between 2007 and 2009. Hormel Foods' performance during this period of time is shown here. Hormel Foods' earnings per share declined by just 3.7% from 2007 to 2008 before rebounding 21% in 2009. Not many other companies performed as well as Hormel Foods did during the last recession. More importantly, the company's earnings continued to cover its dividend, and it continued its multi-decade streak of consecutive dividend increases. Accordingly, we have no concerns about the company's ability to pay rising dividends during future economic downturns. The last angle that we will use to assess Hormel Foods' current dividend safety is by looking at the company's current debt level. More specifically, 
we will see how much the company's weighted average interest rate will need to increase before the company's free cash flow will no longer cover its dividend payment. In fiscal 2018, Formel Foods generated $26.5 million of interest expense and had $625 million of debt outstanding for a weighted average interest rate of 4.2%. The following image shows how changes of Hormel Foods' weighted average interest rate would impact the company's dividend coverage as measured by free cash flow. As the image shows, Hormel Foods' dividend would be well covered by free cash flow even if the company's weighted average interest rate rose above the 40% level. Accordingly, we believe that Hormel's debt level is unlikely to impact the safety of its dividend moving forward. Thank you for watching today's video, which performed a deep dive on Hormel Foods' current dividend safety. We invite you to subscribe to this channel and like this video, which will help more people discover Sure Dividends investor education efforts. If you're interested in learning more about our systematic approach to dividend growth investing, visit our website at www.suredividend.com.